Okay, it's Julia Craftsecute and welcome back. This is the second video um, that I am doing. I showed you in the previous video how to make your own origami paper. And oh, let me move these strips away because, oops, oops, because I'm going to show you how to make a screen, oriental screen, okay? Okay, let me just move this aside, safely put that over here. I should have done that actually before I turn the video on. But I want to show you here that I ended up adding an octopus. You're probably laughing at what I'm going to say, but it's true. We love eating octopus, okay? It is so delicious, okay? Yum, yum, yummy, yummy. If you haven't tried it, you must try it. But at a good sushi restaurant, okay? Um, our favorite that we found is called Nori Nori in Atlanta and OMG it's pricey yeah it's probably about $50 a head but you know what it's worth it it has every kind of sushi that I mean authentic sushi sashimi grilled octopus squid you name it crab legs you it is phenomenal so anyway for those that live in atlanta georgia you must go to nori nori okay so what i did was if i open up her kimono sleeve let's open it up oh la la okay there we go i've opened her up and then i punched two holes in just above her belt which is called now i'll tell you it's called obi O-B-I, Obi. Okay, this is her Obi in the back. Okay, you're going to tie it in an elastic band because I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it. But that's her decorative piece. You know, I had to do it because she loves, she loves her octopus. Mm. I do, I do, I do. I do, I do, I do. And so let me just stick her, if my hands can work, all these little ideas are swimming in my head and I just, I can't stop making the videos on this right now because it's pretty amazing. Um, so this is my washi paper, my washi paper, my origami paper that I made. Watch my next video and you will see. I think if this is a shorter video, I may end up um, loading this one first. If it's the same length, I'll be loading the other one. Okay, so let's just set her aside because we'll get to her in a minute. But here is, if, if I load up the next, the previous video that I just filmed first, then you'll know, understand what happened. This is the, why this, I'm turning this into a what do you call it a signature but yeah so but I'm gonna open this up so here's the washi tape okay I mean not washi but origami paper I'm gonna open this up okay and we're gonna make our screen and how we're gonna start we need you need five half inch strips of black card depending on what paper you're going to make so I need we have five of these okay and then we've got four of these long strips. You only need four. And let me move some of this. These. This mess, my tools out of the way. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to frame this out. Okay. We're going to frame this out like so. Make sure you've got the correct side up. We're going to frame it out like this. But we're not going to glue it all. We're going to tack it down. Just like when you're working with your um, hand sti stitch stuff. When you're hand stitching stuff, you tack things down. We're going to tack it down, okay? Just like that. Do I want to tack this first? Oops, hang on. I'll be right back. 
That's hubby calling me. Okay, I'm back. That was hubby on his way home. Yes, so filming this video is very late. <laughs> it's going to take him an hour to get home. Okay, well, I misinformed you. We need six of these strips, half inch strips, okay? But we're not going to cut these apart. We're not going to cut them down because we're going to tack these down. And I'll show you where we're going to tack them at, okay? I just want to hang hang just a little bit of an edge because we'll trim that up in, in the end. Okay, and I'll show you. We're, let's get art glitter glue because it'll stick really fast. So what I want you to do is put glue right here in this corner. Tack that down like so. Do the other side. Tack. Oops, oops. Don't get on there crooked now. Make sure. Oop, oop. Look at that. Ay, ay, ay. Surprised that didn't glue down like cement. Is that right? We want. No, I'm going to put some more glue down. Ooh, that might be a little too much, but you want to bring it right to the edge of your paper. Oh, what I didn't tell you, the measurement of this, because this was a leftover, if you watch my other video, if I load that first, you will, you will, um, you will understand how this piece came about. Okay, anyway, let's just go on and do this. So, so we're tacking these down, okay, on its corners. We're not tacking it in the center because we gotta let's get our other piece let's flip this okay and let's put some glue on that corner right here and right here and right here we'll just bring this out let's edge out just a little bit we'll trim it up like i said line this up just like so Well, that was just surprising. Why isn't this glue holding down? Okay, so we got that. Now we're going to tack the sides down. You know what's so cool Tennessee is doing? They're doing a, um, whatchamacallit, what did they call it? Let me think here. Let's just tack this down. Ay. Let's just go over the edge a little We can do our trimming. Come on, you can do this. We'll do our trimming. Ay, ay, ay. I can get it on straight enough. I want to get it straight. I'm looking on the inside because I want to make sure that it's tacked on straight. So let's pull that over. Oh, I dropped my strip. Hold on a sec. Hold on. Okay. Glue that there, glue that there. Come on, hold straight. Let me turn this over and check out. Okay, everything's straight. Okay. Okay, just make sure whatever your orientation of your paper is, it's correct. Okay. I guess it would be necessary, right? Okay. So we, we're going to put these on in a little bit. Okay, so what we need to do 
is put these strips on. We're going to go this way and then we'll go this way, okay? Actually, I think I need two more of these. Oh, and these strips are one eighth of an inch, okay? I think I'm missing two more strips that I need. Where's my cap before this glues up? Okay, so let's just go, let's just get some, yes, I need two more. So we need six of these strips. So actually, hmm, we are gonna tack this down. So this is up and up and we're gonna See where our fold line is, that crease line? We're going to, let me see. Let me just do something real quick. I need to make a mark so I can. See my center. Sorry about that. I just need to make a tiny little line. To see where our, our I center, and the reason for that is because when we tack this down, let's tack. Did I just lose my other strip? Nope, it's right there. Because we're going to go ahead and tack this on this side. Going to tack it right up against that. And then we're gonna tack the other one down. So let's just do that. Hopefully I'm lined up pretty good. You know, I'm using those little lines that I made. Let's glue this down. supposed to move. Come on now. What's up with my glue? Is it user error? See, cause it's, that should not be moving. Our glitter glue should be just like, oh shoot, did that tack down? Nope. See, is it not? It's just tacked down on the black part. We're making our screen. Okay. Now, let's flip that around and let's get this other one tacked in right next to it and I'll show you why. Okay. Maybe it's maybe I put way too much glue or not enough glue. Okay. Let's get this one on right next to it. Let's go right right next to it let's see here if I got it we need to make just a tiny bit of a if you see this tiny little sliver part because look we're gonna end up folding it like that and that's what that's got to look like okay so yikes okay we'll fold it up in just a sec we're just we got to make the screen first Okay, because we're going to glue everything together. So I hope you guys have fun. When you Maybe you need to watch the first one. I'll load the first one and then this one that way. Whatever scrap you have left over. This is what you're going to make with it. Okay. Oh. What I wanted to share with you. It is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and three quarters wide. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half tall. Okay. Seven and three quarters, eight and a half length. This is going to be like a TN. This is a TN cut.
cover journal for your journal okay now we need remember we're gonna need where'd they go uh am i dropping them i should have had oh i did oh my goodness Oy. let me see Maybe it's just four that we need. No, no, no. We need two more strips. No, we need a total of... Let's see. Maybe I was dozing off and dreaming this. And I dozed off and didn't get this correct. Right, let's see. Let me get that. Right here. Ugh. Excuse me, I had to rub my eyes. Where's my little paperweight? I need that to hold that down in place because this little strip is all wonky now. Okay, I have to cut one, two, I've got one here, so I need, am I going to make those screens that thin? Hold up, let me just think about this real quick. That's too, that might be nice, but I think if I add that, would that be too busy? Nope, it needs it. So we need to cut three more pieces. I'm going to try and do that right here. Oh, if you guys notice this little thing right here, why I have it on my desk? Because this is what my toesy looks like. My Victoria. Yeah. This is one of the toys she forgot when she moved to Kentucky. Her little character things that she showed me and she lost this one and I found it. So this is my Tozy Poo. This is Tozy Chickadee. But she's my kitty cat. Tozy kitty cat. But this one is the Tozy Chickadee. And the reason why we call her Tozy, well we, it's Toto, is because when she was little she would walk on her tippy toes. This is my Toto Chickadee, but she's my Toto Kitty Cat. Every time we, I say hi to her and I say, Hey Toto, hey Tozy Kitty Cat, she'll go, meow, meow. That's how she says hi back to me. I love it. Anyway, getting my last of my, look, this is the last of my black cardstock. I need to go and get a, a, pa a pack of it. At Wally World so for me to get an eighth of an inch I'm gonna have to use my little trickety here use my washi tape to hold it in place okay Oh, hold still now. Oh, let me just tape it down. Let me just tape it down so I can just tack it in place. I, yeah. Oh, everything's gonna be alright. The whole world's in his hands. In his hands. Did I get that right? Hopefully that's not going to be too thick. Ugh. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh. Okay, we'll see. It's about an eighth of an inch. Okay, there's one. I need how many more? That's... Oh, shoot. I tore it. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Need two more. World in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. World in his hands. Oh my gosh. Are you guys tell telling me to be quiet? He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Okay, that's not straight. My trick has got to work for me here. Come on. This has got to work. It will. You just gotta line it up correctly. Yeah. Talk about. Talk about trying to use up every bit of your scraps, right? Oh, I'm doing it. That's for sure. I am, I am, I am. I need this tape to do one more strip. Oh, I'll remove that in just a sec. Let's just get this next. One eighth of an inch. It is one eighth of an inch. We got it. Okay. Woo! We got it. We got a half an inch strip left. Oh my! So we need. Uh, trying to take that tape off my finger and this off. Yikes. Okay. I'm listening to the Way FM radio. It's at 88.1. I'm trying to take this piece of washi tape off. Just like that, very carefully. Okay. Now. that and move this out of the way and let's get this done let's weave this thing okay so this is eight and a half let me get this well it's seven and three quarters wide eight and a half inch tall I'm just trying to line this up so I can use possibly this grid to Put my strips in place. So let's slide everything underneath this. Now do you see why we haven't glued all of it down? Because we need to slide these underneath this. Ugh. Ugh. I can't grab it. Ugh. Ugh. Seriously, my hands are overworked. I know, Tracy. I gotta, I gotta rest on my will. After I make these videos, I might just go MIA for a couple of days. I'm trying to line this back up. Didn't do a very good job at it. Mm. He's got the whole world in his hands. Okay, so now I got that one done. Let's weave the next one in.
So I just, we need to make sure that it is straight because we got to get these on straight. Okay, and I'm using my screen here to make sure to see if I've got it where I want it. It's going to tell me on my screen, my monitor, that I have these in place width-wise, getting it close as possible, the same width, these sections, okay? Okay, so I think that's looking pretty good, right? Is that looking good? I'm using my board to my grid to make sure because I'm not looking down I'm looking at this angle and I can't this monitor is going to tell me if I am pretty straight and let's see let's just see something between each strip that's going to be about one hang on one and one two three four five six I'm gonna lay it down real quick so one inch going to be right there is where it stops so it's one and one two three four five eights Ugh. and I just killed it by moving it okay well it happens oh my gosh it happens it happens it happens this one is too thin so let me go up a bit this one's got to get moved up here. Is that looking pretty good? Let me see. That should be one and five eighths. <sighs> Can't read that. Down, down, here it goes. Yep, one and five eighths. Just about there, one and five eighths. I may not. I'm just getting it close as possible. I mean, you don't have to. You can just do this, okay? Let's just roll with it. Let's let's just get it as almost nearly there because I don't want it to take all the time. So I'm going to use my paperweight because my fingers, as you guys can tell, is wonky. Right. Using, using that paperweight. Ooh, that looked like just a booger popping right out of my glue. Okay. Let's see how difficult this is going to be. But Jesus, right? Okay, did that get down? Yep, sure did. Where's my little napkins? These are the napkins from making my just that'll glue clear. Not on the black, so be careful. So that's this middle part's down. We'll glue this all this underneath here once we get these in place okay okay so let's just scooch that up like a little mountain and then just try and eyeball that where that's going to lay like that did that get right oh nope needs to go up here just a bit close let's just roll with it just roll with it all right 
just let's get her done like this we can do it unless you want to be use your little measurements on I'm, I'm just not that's just too tedious I know I'm out of the lines but this glue will glue clear all right Ooh, get it off the black paper because it looks like dandruff. And in this case, it wouldn't be dandruff, right? Because it's a screen. It's an oriental screen. Okay, now that we tack them down, let's just remove this and turn this around to this side. We don't need anything holding this. Well, I'll just weight it down so it doesn't slide from underneath me. Let's just lift this up like a little caterpillar. And then just slide it back down. Yep. Okay. Like that. I think it's better to be dabbed than to swipe, right? Okay, let's get this one. Oops. Caterpillar up. Oops, get down, caterpillar. Let's do you over again. Okay. Caterpillar up. Line. And let's just see. Oh, let's go up that way more a bit, huh? That's pretty good so far. That's the way we're doing it. So let's uh, do it that way, you guys, because it's so much easier, right? Let's not measure. You know, I mean, we can, but it's not necessary. Just kind of, it's, I mean, if I was doing this journal as a personal, come on, this caterpillar is driving me. Okay, it doesn't want to behave itself. So now I got to figure out how to hold this up and. I'll just use the inner part of this thing. Try and line it up that way since it. So you just go like that. It should lay flat, you know, because this side's glued down. And just go across your paper. Great deal. Good job. Good job. Good job, everybody. Good job. Now let's get our other. You're doing phenomenal. We're going to get it 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 get her done okay now oops let's get these in place because this we're gonna glue put this one here put that one down there we are going to pixie sticks pixie sticks can't pick them up okay we're gonna put this Oh, I've got a piece of tape, washi tape there. Ugh. Let's put that pixie stick in there. Are you following along, guys? Are you doing it? Are you doing it? Six strips in all. Just try your best to get your one-eighth uh, one-eighth of an inch okay now again I'm going to be using my monitor I'm pretty sure that a lot of you may not have a computer but if you have one of these cutting mats is inexpensive i got this at walmart years ago i'm using that to hold that down for me let's go to this corner hold that down now let's position this i'm using that monitor to just you know line her up see this side is way too thin so i'm going to come back here I'm using these two as a guideline to center to make sure that everything looks as equal as possible in each screen section. 
Okay, that one looks really good. And this one too. Huh. Just make sure it's straight up and down. These two, all of them look really good. Okay. So now I'm going to carefully put my paperweight down. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. And then did I clump this back up? Okay. You guys were supposed to tell me. I left my let's just put that glue down and then just wipe along there because since that's in place it should just fall into place. If you got a paperweight or just get a mason jar if you have one, fill it up with water or something that's heavy. <laughs> I moved it. That looks pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, pretty good. Let's tack this side down. Did I just move this? Does that look? Does that look pretty good? Okay, I did. I did. I did. I moved it. Okay, that looks pretty good. So tack that down. Uh, 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 uh. Nope, nope. That didn't work by just dropping it down there. How about that? Okay. Let's just tack this down. Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Does that look good? Yep. So now that we got these sides tacked down, the other side, it should be easy to just tack that down. And once all that's in place, we'll glue everything. Okay. Does that look good on that screen? I'm just going to use this to hold that in place for me. Caterpillar. Ah. That looks good. Does that look good? Church, you can't take the church out of me. Look at I got glue crumbs. Okay, now we can glue things down, guys. Let's just do our... Now, I know you're saying, well, how are we going to get underneath here? Well, we already did that. Wait a minute. Yeah, what am I talking about? Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Let's tack. Oh, wait. Did I know? Oh, I didn't do this side, you guys. Oh, you're probably telling me, right? Got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh, I got him. He just start, decided he's going to land on my table. He shouldn't have done that because now he's, well, I'm glad he did because now he's a goner. The gnat, it was the gnat that I was trying to, okay, come on. Caterpillar, lay it down, lay it down. Come on, caterpillar, get her. Oh, there's just always that one, huh? Just always that one that just doesn't want a caterpillar. Yes, I know. Uh, uh, uh. And of course, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Oops. Sorry about that, guys. But, hello. I, I'm not toddying. Didn't have my silly juice yet. Not going to. It's super late now. It's too late for a silly juice. Okay, there we go, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Now, all these other ones right here in the center need to be glued down. That's going to be easy because all you do is lift it up and then just as best you can eyeball it and glue that down. 
Okay, I just did it. Yep, you can do it too. Just eyeball it. Let that down and just fall along. And dab it, dab it. There you go. Don't get it on your black thing because that, even though it dries clear, not on this black cardstock because it's just like, did I get that down? Yep, let's do the same over here, guys. I hope you're making yours. I think this is going to be my Christmas. This might be a Christmas December daily. That's what's coming up. My old Oriental December daily project. Okay. That's glued down. Let's get these guys glued down. I think I'm going to glue the this part down first. Come on, open up. Open up! Hands, hands, hands. And I'm going to glue it on both sides. If you see, because both sides are half an inch. If you have glue peeking beyond it, it's okay. Just wipe it away, right? And lay that down. Woo! Did that pretty good, didn't I? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Oh. You can do this, too. Come on. I'm just winging it. I just came and thought, well, you know what? Let's make a Japanese screen. So I just looked at my piece of paper. Decide, hmm. Do I have enough black paper to use and just barely just barely to make my screen okay let's go to this side let's tack it down you know this might not be for everybody but be for somebody. It's just a fun project, right? Right? Alright. It is. I'm enjoying it fully and I'm glad. I hope you guys are. Leave me a comment below. What a way to use up scrap paper, huh? Oh, yes. Corey Dunham would be proud. She's the scrap queen, man. I'm telling you pretty amazing with the stuff she creates with her scraps. Ay, amazing! Oh, let's glue you down. Oh, oh. Don't get glued down. Thing was trying to be problematic for me here. Okay. We're almost getting her done. Gosh, gosh, I can't wait! Can't wait! Can't wait to... S okay, look at that! Woohoo! Look at that. So now, let's turn this over. Close that and let's trim her up. Let's take your scissors and trim. Trim, trim, trim away. And I'm going to keep these scraps because you never know. Oh, they can be belts to the obi or decorative pieces to somehow into your, in your kimono dolls. Yeah, so I got some, but I still need to get a package of black cardstock because I don't have any more to make any hair for the, so I can't make any more samurais and, and geishas or Japanese woman, traditional, doesn't have to be a geisha. Okay. 
there you go let's let's check it out Woohoo! now here's my orientation and then we fold it very easily why because we did that we left that you see that and i don't mind that do you know why because we're gonna that's where we're gonna sew our signature and it's super thick if you added anything else i mean you can you can add a washi if you have black washi add a black piece of washi in there but make sure you glue it down you know but we're gonna sew in our signature here okay but i only have time i haven't chosen i've chosen a couple of pieces of paper which is going to be no no can't because i said i'm going to make it into a december daily huh oh yes mm -hmm. oops there's a little bit right there peeking out let's just trim this up i don't want that there is power. Anything that you need to trim up, just trim it. And the reason why I initially thought of doing this, well, my initial thought was, okay, I'm going to turn this into a TN. But I also wanted to show you what you guys can do with this gal, which is I talked about in my previous video this is going to be let's get and this is why oops oops let's get her going it's like this I need to hold this down because I need to get I need to find out how much of this I need I'm gonna pull this kind of tight all right I don't know let's see can I do it okay and this is, is the reason why oops did I put her on too tight nope because I made this one year, oh gosh, a few years ago, for my oldest granddaughter, Claudia. Made her a bookmark. Not a bookmark. Uh, it's a, a book um, decoration. So she, what she did was she put this on her... She put this on her her journal books. It's a marker. See that? What I may need to do is I think I'll come down here and put another hole here to string. Yep, in fact, let's do that now. I'll show you why. Okay, come on little wonky fingers. I'm going to show you what we're going to do to hold her absolutely in place. And she's got her OB in the back. Remember that. But that's okay. It's not like it's sticking out. She's got that baby got back happening thing going on there. Okay. So she's untied. Then I'm going to bring this guy in. And I'm going to right here where it's a little firmer here okay i should stick something there to make it nope i'm gonna put it right there it's a lot it's a lot firmer right up in here actually maybe as i go up higher yep mm. Ooh, let me think about it I'm going to string her out that way. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, so I know what to do. I know what to do. Is that going to be an eyesore? No, because I think I may just hang something else. I might add another charm to it, but I'm going to go into this part, thick part of her kimono. Actually, 
Can I open her up? Oh. Ha ha ha. Okay. I want it to be substantial. You know, like really thick. But I need a thicker piece. So I'm going to have to cut into this one. Oh my gosh. And I need to go at least that thick. That's all you need. So this is little tips and tricks to making your doll a bit substantial. So when you're going to do what I'm going to do, you will be, you will be able to do it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to stick this in here. Tracy, are you enjoying this? I hope so. Because get in there get yourself up in there there we go scooch it in drop this down get her kimono set back in place okay now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do I went two holes this way but I'm going to go up and down this time on this and I'll show you let's move her sleeve out of the way so we I don't make one of those boo-boo mistakes and punching out a hole. So I'm going to come back here where I put that black card. Make sure nothing's in the way. Okay, making sure that it's even, Steven. I go about right. And I'm going to come down just a bit from underneath it. Okay. Okay, up and down hole. And that's okay if that happens when you see that because I'll tell you why. In fact, I'll show you why. Okay. See, all these are like little ideas that are... The way I was going to, in my little previous video, show you guys how to decorate, you know, adorn your oriental dolls except for this little idea that just jumped into my head but we want to hold her down all right we want to get her to be held down like flat instead of her wanting to wonky wonky this way and that way right so since i got her i'm going to tack her down here yep get her all tacked down mm-hmm Okay. Let's get her journal cover. Actually, I'm going to do it like this because it's going to be thicker for me to tie her down. I still haven't bought my thicker. Usually, I would buy the thicker elastic band. I ordered this completely wrong. I want Pre I definitely ordered, wanted to order the thicker, whatchamacallit, this elastic band thingy. It needed to be thicker, but I ordered the wrong one. Did I just repeat myself like a ding-dong? Okay, I did. I must have. But to me, that sounds ding-dong-ish. Okay, now let's pull her out. Ugh, ugh. Make sure that she's... Notice how I kept this long, right? Let's show you why. Now let's put her back on here. I'll probably tighten her up a little bit more. But now she's not going to slip slide, do this button bit now. She's tacked down. But I left this open. I mean longer. I have to tighten her up though. I left it tighter because I'm going to cut this. In uneven lengths. So I'll get one about right there. And then right there. Because I'm going to hang like little dangles, flat dangles. And then I want to show you something in the back here. 
If you're making gifts, these as gifts, you take a little tag, attach a little tag here with the person's name, like to Claudia from Nana or Nanny. I'm Nanny, not Nana. Okay, so I'm Nanny. So then you put a little tag if you're giving it away as, as a gift. Okay, these can be Christmas. You know, instead of doing your traditional buying all the tags in, in a frenzy at the, you know, during Christmas time, make, make these as tags. Make this as a, for the female and one for a male. Make, get your samurai for the gifts for males. Let's get her hair out. Yeah. Just make your own tags, you know, and this can be wrapped around a present. Okay. Elastic band. And then it's keepsake too, okay? So this is this, you guys. There we go. How about that surprise? Let's just even her up. Let's get her in the screen. How amazing is that, right? Look at that. And your inside of your cover is decorated. Now we just need to put paper. I don't know what kind of paper I may use. I have this other napkin that would go well with this as a looks like ornament. So I might add that as for paper. I might glue one side down. It's a napkin, and leave the open side to write in. Okay. So there you go, guys. This is your Japanese screen. Isn't she just absolutely lovely? Yeah. She's caught her <laughs> octopus to eat. Oh yeah, she's taking it home. See, she's about to go inside her door and, and slice that up, clean it and slice it up and, you know, eat some sushi, octopus sushi. Yummy. Okay, guys. Thank you for stopping by. It's a lot. It's about 35 minutes shorter than the, the, the previous video. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. Hope you had fun doing this. So I would love to see your creations. You know, I've asked that before. You do or you don't. I don't. You know, at this point I was like, I love doing the videos. I'm just going to keep putting it out there. If you comment, you comment. Oh, well, you know. But I would like a thumbs up, though, because that tells YouTube that, yeah, this is a likable, you know, process video, tutorial. Okay. So, anyway, thank you. Happy crafting. God bless you, everyone.